Let's talk about the excitement building up for you and the Bells for the 2014 season. We're really excited, actually. We've been working really hard for the past month, you know, trying to get everything together. We've been working on our team camaraderie, and, um, you know, it looks really good. We're excited. you got one year under your belt already here at ASU. Talk about the expectations for this season that you have put forth for you and your Bells. Um, last year, I think... Um, everyone can agree that we didn't end exactly how we wanted to, so it's a lot of fire built in the returners for sure, and uh, the newcomers are actually really excited too, so going into this year, we're looking to do a lot better, so we're excited. Talk about the returners, you have eight starters returning back from last year's season. How does that help you, and does that make it maybe a little more easier, and does the team feel a little more together this year? It does, actually. With uh, The more returners that we have, it makes it easier for the new people to catch on quickly. You know, with we have a lot of traditions that we do and everything, and uh, it makes it feel like the new people don't have to feel new anymore. They don't need to feel new. They feel at home already because of the returners. And does that help out a lot? I mean, you talk about the new people, I mean, the new girls. And- they're going to add that instant spark right off. Oh, the absolutely. I mean, especially we have Megan Granado and Maestri Korea. I mean, they fit in perfectly. They're going to be a really big impact on this team, especially not just because they're new, but how much spark they bring to our returners. What do you think you learned from last year getting as much playing time as you did that will help you on the field this year? Um, I think I learned a lot of <laughs> you have to stay calm. I mean, it's in a big city, like a setting, you know what I mean? It gets kind of hyped. I mean, the other teams are not as nice as we are, you know what I'm saying? And uh, I learned a lot from especially Casey Easley of being calm, cool, and collected. I mean, you have to really control your emotions when you're playing the game. And I really think that helped me as a first year to come back and, you know, finish business. Let's talk about the tournament this weekend going down to St. Mary's. How big is this tournament for you to start the season off with getting a couple of wins? It's huge. It really is huge. I mean, we don't – we expect to go out there and play our best. You know, we don't expect anything less. We want to work hard, you know, get some Ws and really, you know, start off the season with a bang. You've been working hard now for the last couple of weeks. Just talk about the anticipation for this weekend and getting the season started. Well, we uh, definitely anticipate to win every game we play, of course, and uh, we definitely want to become closer as a team. Um, get better team chemistry, learn how to play together, of course, and um, just get in some games at a tournament to prepare for a conference and everything. Let's talk about that team chemistry for a little bit. You have eight returners coming back from last year, eight starters. How well gelled together are you guys this year? And just talk about the team. Well, um, I think we definitely all get along this year, and that's very important as a team. And um, our team chemistry is great. We definitely all play well together. He can throw anyone anywhere on this field, and we still all play the same together. We make sure that everyone plays to the best of their abilities, and um, it's it's really nice having a team where you get along with everybody. One of the I'll go ahead. Since you were here last year, have you kind of picked up on the traditions now of Angelo State and the expectations that they're pretty high? Yes, definitely. Um, as you keep playing here, you kind of learn how big of a deal it actually is to wear a San Angelo across your chest, and you definitely want to give it 100, 100% every day at practice, every game, of course. And um, it just, like, you just learn to love the program more and more every day and what our coaches put into it 